This is a walkthrough video of 2152 Wood Street. We are very close to downtown on Wood Street, actually just down from the two-story Publix on Mound. So Tamiami Trail is right down there, uh, very close to downtown. This house is really cool. It's uh, very vintage. I like the brick facade here. Um, it has one real surprise and delight when I walked in. I'm, I was really surprised because at first, looks like your average little house that hasn't been updated um a big big living room this is a living room um very vintage carpet and um whoever lived here lived here for a long time built-in bookcase over here kind of an interesting shape so i'm gonna start over here um the bathroom's actually cute i mean this is pink tile and we have a white tub i was expecting a pink tub but um you know and pedestal stink has been updated and this tile is all nice a little linen closet guest bedroom number one uh updated vinyl clad windows which i always like popcorn on the ceiling but there is crown molding this carpet extends into here with more nice windows. This is a bedroom because it has a bath, but it is set up for a den. I'm walking back through into what is this little library area. Kind of neat how they have this set up. And track lighting that dates back to the Brady Bunch era. This whole house is very Brady Bunch-esque. Okay. The kitchen is large, uh, but the ceilings are low in here. I mean, we got seven feet in here, and that is really low. And then you got this thing sticking down even further, so that's like almost bumping your head on. It's okay if you're not six foot four. Um, I'm going to come to that room in a moment, but first I want to show you this. This is a master bath, and um, or master bedroom, because it has its own bathroom. It has a side entry door, so that's what's really cool about this. I don't know if I... Let me see if I have this key. Uh, I think this one's locked. I don't have the key. But um, that is kind of neat to have your own separate entrance to this suite. So that, that gives a lot of possibilities. So I'm coming back to this, and this is the room that I is a surprise and delight. And let me let me turn these antiquated dimmers and see if I can get them to work. Boom, 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 boom. Very cool. And there it is. Look at this big ceiling. It's 10 feet with these cool beams. I bet you those are actual wood. I think they are. I think this room was built. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, fireplace, these windows up here. This is really cool. This is a neat room. It's got all this built-in stuff. Got a wet bar. It's got a hi-fi system. It's got wood-burning fireplace. More of that brickwork. Look at that. It's got tape deck and everything. Um, wow. This is a cool room. Carpet in here as well. And then this is kind of cool, this little porch area. They have sliders out here. I'm not sure how I'm crazy about these wrought iron, wrought iron uh, sliders here. Um, not much of a backyard, but I'm going to show you this cool little deck out here. It's kind of architecturally, this house is cool. Um, kind of Frank Lloyd Wright-ish, I'm going to say. I mean, it's all really interesting. That you got a big... Uh, that's a um, hurricane door that comes down, as are these hurricane panels that don't move. That's very interesting. This is the backyard. There's not much to it, but you can see those big beams that go across the ceiling. It's a cool house. Let's say 345. It just came on the market today. Uh, there's that little deck area, and this is, yeah, this is all just screen. So it all opens up. It's kind of cool. Very vintage. Keeps the sun off these windows. Those little, the, these things actually work pretty well. I mean, you unscrew right there. They come up and stay up. Nice tree. Great location. 
This is a cool house. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities here. Let me make sure I covered all the ground because I don't know, you know, I don't know if I did this room. So this is a whole nother, it's not a bedroom, but it could, yeah, I guess it is because it has its own bathroom here. For my top. Vintage yellow tile. Great shower. Tile all the way up. All the tiles in really good condition. So this is its own little suite. That's that's pretty cool. So this is all a big suite. So you almost have two main suites. You have that suite over there. This suite. Um, and this kind of comes in through the carport. We have a laundry room. Very interesting. So this, this is cool. This is a cool house. And then we got a little storage out here. This carport. The house has been well kept. I like the new windows. The roof looks to be in good condition. And there's a cat. So there aren't any mice. Okay, so I, I now have good sense of this house, and I see how they could totally be separated into two suites. Um, you know, because you have this laundry room here. That's an exit door. You got this door. You got this m suite. You come over here. Kitchen is in the middle. This big living space. A lot of bedrooms. I don't know the square footage here, but it's got to be pretty big. Okay, guest bath, bedroom, bedroom, living. So this this section is like two bedrooms and a bath in this big living area. Then we have the kitchen. That suite over there, and you can see the exterior entrance door there. Kind of nice little walkway that goes into that section of the house. Very cool. And there is a ladder out there. I'm, you know what I'm going to do. Of course I'm going to. Of course I'm going to go up on the roof. If I see a ladder, I'm going to climb it. Take a gander at the roof. All right. Siding needs a little paint on the back here. You know, but I, I, I'm pretty sure this is, this is cement board, which is really nice. Very indestructible. Here's this section of the house. There's that entranceway to the other other spot. Oh yeah, we're gonna take a look up here. Let's see what's this roof looks in good condition. We got standing water on this flat part of the roof. We're over the kitchen right now, and you can see so interesting how they do the ductwork here, but I could see this being a problem with the accumulation of pine needles. Here's the flat roof of this section. The exterior ducks, very interesting. It seems like there's gonna be a problem, especially with the fact there's some standing water and a ton of pine needles up here. This could be, this could be an issue. AC is old. Yeah, I wish this was a little bit higher. Um, so this roof line is right at where those windows are. This is all very cool though. I suspect this was the original house and all this was added around it is probably what occurred. Um, that AC looks to be in good condition. You know, the flat roof is in good condition. It hasn't been tarred over, but the accumulation of pine needles is a problem because that just creates rot. Um, a lot of flat roofs. There's that chimney over there. Hmm, very cool. These are just the uh, condensate drains for the, um, it's condensate drain for the air conditioning unit. This is the power to that air conditioning unit. Hmm. I like this house, 345, very cool. And um, just to kind of point something out here, this house next to us, very similar. You know, you have a pitched roof and then you have this flat roof section. Looks like a cool house too. So, yeah, this is neat. So I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000, or visit us on the website at www.yorkshireinternational.com. This one, I think, is listed by Michael Saunders, and uh, this is a cool house.
There's another air conditioner unit. So there's three air conditioning units. Sorry for that late hit. Anyway, give me a call with any questions. Thank you. Thanks for watching.